We got Dana here. And she can play an 11 point card. Interesting. So she wants a long ground. Can we beat her in a long ground? No. Oh. I'm not gonna mulligan further because we want to play some cards round one. Also, right now there are new leaders, and I don't really know which are good and which are trash. The one has that the one that says damage is good. Now, uh, actually, Godrun is uh, pretty popular too, and King of Beggars is uh, okay too. It was it was the go-to leader before the nerf, but now it's just. Uh, what of the choices? No, dwarves do not qualify. I prefer horse sound myself because uh, Bounty is quite powerful not to worry. and uh, makes Bounty more cold. consistent. You can technically get more done with Godran, but horse sound is a little bit more consistent, I think. That's why I'm using it. I don't want to use a lot of cards round one. You're lucky to keep your or some with circle seems really strong. Mm. Yes. Uh, okay. I can play a witch hunter executioner. Oh, Don't do anything. We're just gonna play the ship. Hopefully he doesn't kill my bitch hunter executioner. Doesn't even care. Alright. It's kinda of what I expected. I swear it. Okay. Thing is, even if I played the eavesdrop, what do I get? What do I replace it for? Nothing. Problem. Maybe we play eavesdrop next turn, but not this turn. <sighs> we don't need two of these. Under. Let's say we play an eavesdrop. Do I just swindle <laughs> an eavesdrop? I don't like going against Squirtle because sometimes they have uh, artifact counters and that really sucks. Maybe do swindle. Get out the ship. So we don't do the eavesdrop. Because I need a spender for sure. Of course we can... The thing is I can't trust my summoning circle here. And that's that's the worst part. So when we will see the return of Brewer the Trappy Elf Pimp, I would love to play that deck. But the problem is, I don't know if I could recommend it. Because if you run into anyone who has... I know, Pit Trap can be tricky, but if you run into anyone who has uh, artifact counters, it can be so soul-crushing that they just like, Oh, I just delete the crushing trap! Nice. Wait, 
He played this? Let me just pass. So, I love the deck, but I don't know. I'm not sure if I could recommend it. I think Dana is a little bit better, or maybe uh, Francesca. Just consistent, consistency-wise. But, Brewer is ridiculously fun. Uh, that's for sure. Oh my god. Okay, we kick eavesdrop. That's terrible. Mara is not something we want to play last round. Okay. I definitely some good cards in there, but we couldn't find it. I do have enough cards for the summoning circle. Uh, let's say we blow up one of them. Uh, they will get pretty big. And we have uh, Graydon, the possible heart counter. We don't have to summon circle right away. It's kind of nice. But we have to play it pretty early. Actually, what the hell am I doing? We can just nuke that with Horson. Actually, we're probably gonna... Yeah. Yeah, let's do Beansy. Beansy into Horson. Bye. He might move it, but... We have to play Beansy kind of early. This is actually proving to be a questionable addition to the deck. We might have to kick it. And we need a spender now. Welcome here. I have to put down the bounty marker. Peace with humans. Oh my god. I hate this. Why does he have to be melee? Yeah, that sucks. So you can just pull out the artifact counter and now we are kinda screwed. Greeting can kill that. A lot of ways to gain it. Wait, okay. We we have to rely on the sea jackal. I can't kill that. So Graydon can kill. And we have Boris and Graydon who can deal damage. So maybe we're gonna play Graydon right now. I was gonna pay the tribute. Although, well, that's it's fine. Paying the tribute is fine. He should have leadered. Hmm. Uh, what? Oh, uh, yes, yes, I'm on it. Huh? Okay. He's obviously lining up for a big tree. We need to target something. Oh my god, I have so many bounties. I have way too many bounties and not enough damage. That's that's basically it. When you see this card, it says... <clears throat> uh, either you play this for deploy range, boosting it by 3, 7 for 8. That's a little underpowered, but let's, let's read the other option. Deploy melee, uh, win the game. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, totally balanced card. Or... Just, just keep having uh, card counters like this, CDPR. Not, not bad at all. Not too shabby. Jackal. So let's say we slander Barnabas. Just to get a lot of gold. And get out the ship. Where are his dwarfs? Best artifact removal card. 
It's pretty good. I don't think it's the best. This faction has the best, technically. We just have to rely on this sea jackal. If the ring man come out, just take the whole finger. Okay. We need every single point here. Perfect. That's what we need to bounty mark. And uh Hit with Boris too. High time the north was cleansed. So we would go up to we would go up by six gold if we do that with Boris. We can't kill this, so we're good. Okay, now he's playing the crushing trap. <laughs> Right. Um. Matter much. Might as well use it all. When we see you last, we'll spend the gold on the sea jackal. Wait, what? Fine. Siggy. Look at this, we managed to beat Dana in a long round, even when we got shut down. Okay, last card. <laughs> yeah, oak last card. Ah, my bad puns, I can't resist. Well, that was pretty damn close. Look at this, look at this, 16 versus 15, 4 versus 5, 53 versus 52, GG. An 8 me. I fought a lot of Aethnies in the past. Um, do I want the Slander? I prefer to keep the Witch Hunters for later. Okay, um, we never want to play the Eternal Fire Disciple. <laughs> That's just in the deck to make uh, Dijkstra better. So far, I didn't have to play it, which is great. What do you guys think? Do we need to play Summoning Circle against Aetne? I think we have to. You guys decide. I can't decide. You guys decide. We need Novigradian Justice. Can't think how he could have played better. He, he put up a good fight. So did I. Do you guys want to decide or do I decide? I I'm I'm partial to playing the portal, but a portal is the is a really powerful card. I'll kick. Oh, actually, you you would kick circle because he will have Ida. That's even more of a reason to play round one. Sometimes I just play a guy just to play into Geralt. This world, only two things are certain. <laughs> so, this might be. I think he has a. Oh my god. Aethne charge. Alright, let's go, tax collector. <laughs> If he's gonna shut it down, it's gotta be now. But the circle makes sense, because other than 
Uh, Squirtel. Uh, it's a it's a great card. It helps us win. And uh, we usually set up the game in such a way that we have a long round three, in which it really shines. Okay, when you see this card, you know that your opponent is 100% committed to just damage spam. With hard to shut down as close to vanilla units as possible. Okay. What do we want to play? We can get out the Bunty guy from the deck. We can also play an Executioner next turn. We don't have to do it right now. Can I just not do anything? I'm gonna slander the dryad and plan to kill it next turn. Skyatel! Attack! Fine. Oh, late for the best buyers. I don't know about playing the the other witch hunter here. That could be too greedy. Also if I can go up. Good amount of gold. So if you play a swindle, then that can guarantee the ship. That's the only way to do it. Game. We'll just take the four, but it will guarantee the ship, uh, which is worth it. I'm not taking the gamble. El Shiru? Okay. I don't know if you're gonna play see a Shiru, but Never had your sure. broken. Play it tomorrow. My mom needs my help. What a battle cry! Love this battle cry. <laughs> Get it, you baldy face boy. Oh my god. This is one of the most boring units in the game right now. Five point with a shield. If it was like, you know, taunt or whatever, like uh shield, but the unit that stand next to it. You know, this gets hit instead, or something like that. Just just something, not, not just boring points. But, you know, it just defends your guys. Even like this, it gets played, but damn. But I would like to something that encourages value, value plays, not just uh, vanilla points that are hard to shut down. I think we gotta play the Witch Hunter here. Magic souls chaos. <laughs> okay. So he's making it a very costly round one. That's why I play the portal. That's totally what I expected. That he's gonna make me commit uh, basically everything. We still have a Witch Hunter in there. Not sure what we would play here. I don't want to play the Eternal Fire Disciple. It's trash. The thing is, he's getting to the point where he has a lot of good cards, and he doesn't want to play any of them. 
Also, he's landing up for a big tree. Just thinking about it. Oh! Dragon time. Royal decree at an 8th pointer. That actually cost 10. This cost him 21 points to play 8 points. Okay, 21 supply to play 8 points that cannot be interacted with. Ah. Hope that's worth it. Evil's not going anywhere. I'm not going to spend the gold. We're probably spending it with the siege I call. Unless we get a bounty next turn. In which case, uh, we're probably gonna mark Weaver's Muscle. There's not much to do here. Royal Decree into Sesanthesis. That was his throwaway play, round one. Unless he plans to resurrect this, I doubt it. Does he have a combo card? Looks like he really wants to win round one. Gerald. They're not loving the portals. So we get at the Witch Hunter here. Our fires will light up the north. Hebrew's muscle get destroyed. Go to seven. Play the sea jackal. Actually, we're gonna get gold with the tax collector now. <laughs> um, let's go sea jackal. Um. I'm not sure if I wanna commit everything to the Sea Jackal here. We might just go for a bleed. Like this. And give me the golds! Come on, man. Well, that was round one. Sure. Yeah, um, okay. I'm not sure if BC is going to be great. I have one way, two ways to mark a target for Bounty. Let's try to find it. Okay, we got a spender. BNC is sometimes great, uh, sometimes not so much. Uh, that's not too bad. So we have a uh, bounty for Graydon. BNC probably going to be played with the leader. There were some good cards in there. Maybe we kick Bincy and hope for something better. Okay, that's going to make it a little bit better. And we have a lot of damage. I think this is fine. Don't you fret about me. I can take care of myself. I don't like seeing that. See, you can get out the ship. We're gonna have a lot of gold. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life.
Probably have to Not flip to off worry. that. The wood will make good use of your core. So you never played the tree. Europa is not the best choice. It's, yeah. I don't know. I, I also like to play with Tyr and Elidia, but uh, sometimes they are a little slow. Currently, I don't have them. Actually, Philippa is the one that uh, got replaced for them, but I'm not ex exactly sure if... Well, sometimes she's great. It's really hard to judge because, you know, it's gonna be like... 5 out of 10 times, Philippa is better. Other times, it's uh, Fitir and Alidia would be better. Right now, they would be better here. Assuming they don't get shut down. I, I kind of need a way to spend some gold. Wasn't really a good way to do it. Okay. And Bounty mark that. It's not great. We will cleanse Novigrad with fire! I probably shouldn't bounty mark it. Ah, uh, we should do it. So, he's playing like he doesn't have uh, a tree. This is the only spender I got. I'm going to get burned real bad. Uh, won't he burn his free power guy as well? What if I reduce that to a free? Will that make it a little awkward for him? <laughs> I just need something big here, right? Fifteen years in the sewers, begging like a beast. Yeah. Some things cannot be forgiven. Yes, I'm gonna waste three gold. Ah, <sighs> oh, immunes. I don't like this tag. This is boring. Oh no. Oh, you've done it, no. I think we lost. Horse and Junior wouldn't work so well. We can reduce uh, either this or. We're gonna slander Cleaver's muscle. It's like a loss. Oh, actually, we managed to buff Sigi. But he still has a good play. He could pink his own units, though. Why would he? Oh, yeah, that's, that's correct. He can pink his own units, too. But... Mm, I'm not sure. Maybe he can... Yeah, he can ping my Sigi and ping his own guys by 1-1. One, one. That's the best play. Let's see if he finds it. Weaver's muscle comes with a shield. Look at how boring this is. Immune, shielded dwarf. It's kind of break even. Oh no, really? He 
You had me all excited for Shiru. That's not what he has at all. No. Bad tree. Go away. GG!